20. You talk about a great, yeah, sure great knows. football game here. This is one of the ones that I want to see. Texans versus Jaguars. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say, like, uh, Chiefs versus uh, Browns or yeah, something. Yeah, really like hyped that. it up. You see, you, you like getting some switches up. Um, this is an interesting football game, though, mainly because, okay, everyone thinks that the Texans are, are thrown in the towel, right? Every mm-hmm. week someone new is getting traded for a day three pick or whatever draft pick they can really get for any player on their team, it seems like. But, and the, the big but here is, big yeah, the big but, speaking of, big but, oh. like that, had that nice. on deck. Um, the Texans have a lot of new faces, especially on their defense. Is yeah. it going to matter? I have no idea. But their defense, the, the but, their defense was terrible last year. It's horrible. You, every single team was getting 150 yards on the ground, averaging like five and a half yards per carry. It was like watching a college defense. And they had a couple good players. But they were just getting bullied up front. Their, their D-backs weren't great. But now they have a whole lot of new players. Like, I'm not going to go into it, but almost every single position has a new face at it, aside from, like, Cunningham and Reed. Like, every position's different. Like, it can only, can it I, only go up? Can it get worse? <laughs> I think it can get a lot worse. You think so? You you're really just picking think so? these people up. I Like, I don't know. I Like, I, I dude, like, I can't name you three players on that defense. Oh, they picked up Desmond King. They have, um, oh, they have that dude from the Browns. The D back. Um, I mean, they have a lot of new players. Like, if you go and look at the depth chart, you're like, oh, they got him. Oh, they got him. Like, they got uh, like Malik Collins and stuff. I don't know. They got some, they got a couple players. They, they have new players at least. Um, I, so I just want to see that, especially because you're going up against the Jaguars team that has obviously a lot of new players. They don't have Travis Etienne, right? Mm-hmm. If there's, if you're going to pick up a win and get your, your Texan season off to any sort of start, you'd want it to happen this game, and this would be a big game to happen for it to happen. Um, I'm not expecting it, but the Texans' defense, maybe not the worst in the league. We can go to their offense, actually, which I do think has some hope. Tyrod Taylor, you got him, veteran quarterback. He looked all right in the preseason. I, I was watching a little bit of what he did. Looks a little bit more comfortable, I, I feel like. I mean, it is the preseason. There's really no nerves, but he looked kind of comfortable. I mean, Tyra Taylor is not a – like, Texans, if I was a Texans fan coming in this season, I would think, you know, we'd win like maybe one or two games this year and just get blown out every time. I think Tyra Taylor is a good, like, little handcuff where, like, he at least might keep you competitive because he's going to be able to game manage to the most part. You know, because like when he played for the Bills, he was he was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I don't know because I look at this Texans offense and I, I I look at the pieces and I think that I was underrating their offense a little bit. Mm. I, I don't think it's going to be great, but realistically, they look pretty average. I mean, like I, not average, under average, right? They look pretty, but uh, you know, right now their offense and defense are pegged to be basically very last in the league in both and. Oh, I think I so. think they are kind of getting unfairly judged in that department, especially for this week, because I am seeing everyone and their mother pick the Jags. And this is a divisional game. It's a Jaguars team. I, we both like the Jaguars. I do too, but, like, you know, you still got rookie playing first I don't game. think I'm picking this game. Oh, I'm not taking team, anything. I'm not betting on the fucking Texans. I'm not no taking shot. the top. To- yeah, no, I'm not, you know, if I don't want to take the Jags, then I'm just not going to bet it because, like, first of all, Jags minus three is like uh, you could convince yourself like there's yeah, a bait there. Good. You know that's a bait. How is that yeah, a, a like, beautiful just, game? Minus three, it, minus four, something like that. I I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> oh, and both new coaches too. Like I I feel like that's just a game you need to stay away from. Like, I'll watch a little bit of it because I want to watch T-Law. But, yeah. like, you know, other than that, like, I think the Jags, hands down, have the better roster. But is it going to win them the game? I don't know. Because, yeah. like, not – in week one, not so – like, sometimes the best roster doesn't win week one, you know? If you look last yeah. year, the Jags okay. beat the Colts. 
And then they went on to lose 15 straight. Yep. So. I mean, it's, it's week one football, right? That's why, um, I mean, we're going to be reacting to the college games later, but that's why you don't want to overreact. So major key for me is um, obviously it's centered around the Texans defense because that's the group that I'm honestly most interested in. Everyone's going to be saying, obviously, the Jags offense. But in terms of the Jags offense, can you run the football again? Because that's how you beat the Texans. You ran it down their throat. They couldn't stop anyone. James Robinson, Derrick Henry, Jonathan Taylor were all going for like 150 yards guaranteed every one of those games. Is that going to be the same story again? Are they just going to get bullied up front? Or do these is people it just going to be in? an under average run defense? Because if, if the Texans have been able to upgrade their run defense from almost historically bad yeah, to yeah. just under average with a rookie quarterback. I mean, I think T-Law is going to make his plays, but he's not. I don't think he's going to be consistent out there necessarily unless your defense really sucks. You have a chance. I, I think they, ha- they definitely have a chance. And I think they're home too. Um, mm. I don't know if that helps. I'm not sure if any Texans fans are showing up. Next not game. Showing up to watch Philip Lindsay, the three headed monster of Philip Lindsay, <laughs> and David Johnson. Okay, so actually, before we do, you have any other keys? I think we kind of touched on most of that. Maybe uh, the Texans. Nah. Like, obvi- other than the obvious ones, right? Because I don't really want to touch into like, okay, T Law is playing. I, I'd be like, I know Tyrod Taylor is not the best, you know, passer of the football, but I would be like interested to see like, you know, Nico Collins play mm-hmm. some of these rookies, you know, maybe like Brevin Jordan. I know a lot of people liked him at tight end. Yeah. If I'm like a Texas fan, I'm just kind of looking into who we drafted this year and see if I can buy stock into him or not. Cause you're not going to win, mm-hmm. but like you can build. Um, Maybe a Davis Mills sighting at some point. I would love some Davis Mills. 